Hi, my name is Dean Janiak and I'm a biologist for the Timon Marine Geo Observation Network at the Smithsonian Institute. A major goal of Marine Geo is to monitor coastal habitats around the world. And to do this, we study the diversity and abundance of species living in these habitats as well as how and why they change through time. Something that concerns us is the loss of natural habitat to artificial structures, and this is called either shoreline hardening or marine urbanization. What's important here is that what happens to the system as a whole when natural habitat is lost and replaced with something that's artificial. We really don't know what happens in terms of food web dynamics or species composition. So we have the opportunity not only to study the effects of habitat replacement by artificial structures, but what that means for biodiversity. We've developed a very simple, standardized way to collect data in artificial habitat. We put this in the water, we know exactly how far it is away from whatever we're recording. Back at the lab, we can take screen captures or video stills of the artificial habitat that we're interested in, which can be relatively fast and give us a really good idea of what the community composition looks like at each of the sites. Thus far, we know that there are several interesting things happening in artificial habitats. For example, artificial structures typically contain communities of species that are very different from neighboring native habitats. One thing that is important and that we know for certain is that artificial structures always contain more non-native species than natural habitat. An important part of this is that once a non-native species becomes established and grows very well in artificial structures, it can then move into neighboring native habitat and disrupt the biodiversity. 